afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another Propaganda Cast Layer with me, your host, Imperial Dane, Master of Instruction. Today we are covering the 6th and self appealed artillery piece. Here we will hear from the Royal Artillery Regiment Doctrine for the British at a 375 manpower and a 19 fuel, making it in terms of sort of self appealed How it's is one of the cheaper ones. I mean, you got the Priest, which is, you know, a bit more expensive. I mean, you still got Katrushas, Panzer Vefs, of course, the Mortar Half-Tracks, which are cheaper. But obviously they are, in the case of the rocket launch, also a lot bloody less accurate in most cases. But at the same time, this is cheaper, well in that sense it probably won't be safe for some less effective as the pre-same terms of splash damage that is, I mean, has a smaller gun, and again, it is cheaper. It does, you know, have, for example, like the Priest of the Creeping Barrage ability, which of course gives you a bit more accuracy, and also the ability on you to just more specifically lame it in a lot of devious Ways. And of course, there's also the unique thing about it is, unlike the priest, I mean, you actually can work it together with another unit, in this case, the Valentine, which wants to hit and one can actually allow your priest or sexton to fire another series of barrages. So, when you sort of think about it, you can actually get a surprising lot out of a single sexton, and of course, you get more, you can get, well, a lot more out of them. <coughs> Otherwise, I mean, the rules basically say to apply when they come to sort of artillery pieces, that is, the closer you are to the target, less scatter, if you can see the target, less scatter. The further you are away, you're just blasting away, the less accurate overall the barrage will be in some senses, so that is a little detail there to keep in mind while using your sextant, and of course, I mean, that sense you do kind of want to get close, but at the same time, not ridiculously close. In sort of terms of speed and mobility, it's there. I mean, it's nothing that's really going to stand out. It's not awfully fast. It's not awfully slow either. It's just, you know, something. Veteran de bonus wise, you got creeping barrages. You get sort of faster barrages. And Vetri 3, it's just an increased range. I mean, in that sense, it's <coughs> rather standard affair for most sort of artillery pieces, if you will. And again, when it comes to this piece, I mean, you probably just want to get more to work with it. You want to get the most out of that sense. Again, the Valentine does sort of factor into it. I think, of course, you can always just go for another sex. But otherwise, I mean, there's not really so much else to say about it. It's a self propelled artillery piece. It does what it does. It's got nothing sort of really special and unique about it. What it is, basically, is it's cheap, so properly utilize it and get some good damage out of it, essentially. And I'll let you know, try to screen it. If your opponent thinks you get away with it, you'll probably try and rush it and to knock it out since it's not going to be frightfully. Durable, and of course, unlike other some of the self-propelled artillery pieces, like say the priest or the Panzerwerfer, it does lack a bit of self-defense. So it's pretty much very vulnerable to infantry, whereas the Panzerwerfer and the priest are just somewhat vulnerable. Well, actually, quite vulnerable as well, but yet not quite as vulnerable as other units. And of course, watch out where you're bloody well shooting the thing. I mean, you could end up hurting your own. But I'll actually, depending on what you're doing, you just regular barrage. I mean, you can use creeping barrage, and again, it does give you a bit more effect for sort of say tripping up the enemy on the retreat, or just sort of firing at a more specific angle to sort of catch them off guard. A proper utilization of the priest will, or sexton here will certainly get you a bit of extra firepower, a bit of artillery, and again. Use it for the Valentine for sort of extra effect and over and again sort of uh, minimizing the effect here of the cool light and you'll be all pretty well off. And that really covers the sex. I mean, there's not really so much else to say about it. There's not really any magic to it beyond that. I mean, it doesn't have any sort of further specific abilities. I mean, it's basically, you know, it works great for the Valentine. So, you know, if you can, try to get the Valentine to work with it. I mean, that way you'll get a lot more out of it. And, well, that's it. So, thank you all for watching. Hopefully this has been a slightly educational thing, and hopefully this will give you a better idea of perhaps an awesome encouragement to use it. So thank you all, and see you all another time. Goodbye.